as part of the proprietors, we look after our members 100%. When we were opening March for two weeks, we were sanitising on an hourly basis. We're going to do deep cleaning once we reopen. It's in our best interest to look after the members. There is no reason for us not to be open. The federal government has issued a statement. Under 10 cases a day, there's no reason why the businesses shouldn't be open. There's no reason why gyms shouldn't be open for mental health, which is one of the big reasons, as well as general health. The whole, this whole situation just seems to be, there seems to be no common sense at all. Um, it seems to be all based on the virus only, instead of looking at the whole picture of people's mental health, well-being, uh, businesses surviving, uh, people not losing their houses, not losing their livelihoods. Um, I actually don't even think the government really should even have the right to do what it has done and close down businesses. I think it has the right to put in safety protocols in and say, you know, limit the numbers, socially distance, do all the safety things, wear a mask. But I think it's overreached its authority to actually say, we, are happy, we can actually take your income away without actually giving you very little compensation, if any. Uh, we can, if you lose everything, well, you know, bad luck. I mean, without any real evidence. I mean, other countries, other states are able to, you know, they've been, they were closed for a number of weeks. South Australia was closed, I think, for six weeks. Um, well, same as New South Wales. Well, 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 I say it's time for the government to come forward with the evidence of why they've closed every gym in the state like this. You've got to ask why they won't release the background documents that support such a decision or don't support such a decision. And I say that they've caused a lot of damage to so many small businesses. Uh, but they've also meant that people are getting less exercise. People who would normally be in the gym, would help, be helpful for their physical and mental health, are not getting that support at this time. And I think there'll be consequences down the track for that. I think it actually begs the question of, do they actually have any evidence? Because if they did have, why wouldn't you gladly disseminate it to actually back up what you're doing? Or are they just winging it? I mean, well, I think Andrews is making the decisions himself and there's not the scientific evidence that's required.